da, 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 da. What's good, guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed uh, the last week I did Toby Keith week. I think the six, seven, eight songs with Toby Keith. Uh, he has so many good ones, so rest in peace, Toby. I've had several questions asking me about learning a new song. How do you learn a new song? What's my process? If you're just starting out with guitar, what, what's your process for finding a new song that you're trying to learn? How do you go about it? I always have a passion for beginners, so some of y'all might be more advanced and you know all this, but if you're just starting out, this could have a big impact on you. The biggest takeaway I want you to learn is always remember to crawl before you walk. What I mean by that is don't try to get too fancy as a beginner when you're trying to learn a new song. Let's take the song Wagon Wheel, for example. Let's say you're listening on the radio and you hear the song Wagon Wheel and you say, man, I wanna learn that one. So you, sh you shazam it, or Alexa, whatever. You figure out the song name and stuff. You go to your Google app or whatever and you type in Wagon Wheel Chords. If you're new to guitar, a chord, certain notes pressed on a guitar, piano, whatever, certain notes pulled together, make up what's called a chord. That's, a little mu that's about as deep as I get with music theory, right? So certain notes within a certain key make up a chord. To play acoustic guitar, you're trying to figure out what chords are used in that particular song. So you type in wagon wheel chords and you're gonna see it says G, D. It has the lyrics, the lyrics, the words of the song. On top of that, it has a, has a letter G, D, E, M, which stands for E minor. E minor, then a C, then G, then D, then C. So you see that, but you still say, man, I'm a rookie, I don't understand how to play that. What you want to do, and this is the main point of this video, is simply do down strums. If your guitar, if you're just a beginner guitarist, you're just starting out to learn, don't try to get too fancy. So you would see those chords. What you're trying to figure out, the number one thing as a beginner learning a new song, is what is the timing for each chord that I play. So wagon wheel would be a two count for G, we go two count for D, two count E minor, two count C, then two count G, two count C, I mean D, then four count C. So and I try, I've been teaching my, my, my nine and seven year old piano. What I'm trying to tell them is music is all about a timing and a flow and a rhythm. Now, if you're playing electric guitar, there are certain notes where you're notes I know so I had to play Amazing Grace I'm saying but it's something very specific and that kind of thing with with acoustic guitar you're just keeping the flow and the rhythm of the song going to keep a beat to, like I said to sing the melody so you would just headed down south to the land of the pine strumming my way into North Carolina stand at the road pray to God I see I made it from the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of tall wood flowers I'm hoping to Raleigh I can see my baby tonight So that's all you're doing, just those down strums. And the reason, uh, on the Matt McCoy four chords, the reason I teach locking in the two bottom strings of the third fret is it stabilizes your guitar that you saw how easy that movement was. Go from that G then down to a D, up to an E minor, then over to a C. I'm just moving my first and second finger, my index finger, middle finger. So boom, 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 whole song. Very easy. And, and rather than up and down the neck, rather than taking your hands all the way off the guitar, switching to back here, to switch here, to back here, to bar chords, you're stabilizing that guitar. I, I emphasize this and get an email, a comment, a note, a DM, something every single day of my life saying, Matt, thanks for showing me that. It helped me learn to get to this level. After I got to this level, I was able to branch out. I had confidence. I enjoyed what I was doing, and I learned more and more and more. I've had so many worship leaders, people in bands, country artists, reach out and tell me that exact thing because I'm, I'm convinced that often we need to show people a little bit of success, hear, they, that they hear a sound they know that they're familiar with that sounds good, that gives them the confidence and the desire to want to play. So... Rather than, I, I mean, I could go, rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel, rock me, mama, any way you feel, hey, hey, mama, rock me, oh, rock me, mama, 
I was doing a lot of hammer ons, stopping the strings. Unless you just watch me because I'm a knucklehead, which some of y'all even do that, you tell me. Um, you're probably not at that level yet. That's fine. What you want to do is get a consistent, you want to look up the song with the chords, find those chords, and try to figure out the timing and really focus on can you do those chord changes in a timely, rhythmic fashion to make it sound right. And then the second part of that, obviously, is put singing with the songs. You could type in Matt McCoy sing and play guitar. I've, I've done two or three videos. People ask me often about, like, they struggle singing while they play guitar. That's perfectly normal. And a lot of times, your skill is just not there yet. I struggled for years and years. So if it's very hard, maybe you, you think you're sounding pretty good, but when you start to sing, that's just two different parts of the brain, two different things. So trying to sing and play... It takes a lot of practice. It takes time. You'll get there. But it's just, you want to start out with just those down strums, and you're getting the timing of the song. I go over this in my strumming course, and people, a guy showed me a long time ago, you look at your right hand like a drum. It's keeping the rhythm. So maybe you're not even playing a chord. You're just grabbing it here. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey. Hey, mama, rock me. Rock me. And so forth. That's all you're doing. You're listening for that timing with acoustic rhythm guitar. Rock me, mama, like a wind and rain. Rock me, mama, like a sound of rain. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. Then maybe you might add, like, for example, I go over this off, that hammer-on. So that ad makes it sound cooler, even though you're doing down strums. All I'm doing, I'm playing every chord without the string pressed of the first finger. So I add that. See, hammer down. I go to the D chord, and I don't press that third string until after I've strummed it. See, I'm hammering both the fifth and fourth on E minor. Then on that C or C add nine, I'm hammering that fourth string. Hope it makes sense. So there's little tricks you can do. Uh, you could type in country tongue, country song teacher spice up guitar. I've, I've done a video on that little tricks you can add in that kind of thing. But the main takeaway I want you to do, take from this video is when you're learning a, a song, if you're struggling learning new songs, you want to find out the chords, find out the order the chords are in, and then you're going to do down strums and really listen what is the timing of each chord, and just do down strums and learn, really, like I said, as a beginner, working on trying to get faster and faster within the timing. Of your chord changes so so many people think and my, my, my nine-year-old does this all the time with piano he thinks if he can do the chords real fast now he's just better and i'm like blake it's all about you see on piano or, or something called a metronome it's keeping that internal timing and, and that's what you want to listen for you're born to even though i'm doing the two down strums my head's kind of got that fork out one two So I hope it helps you guys. Let's jam a little bit. Goes, uh,
I gotta be honest, the whole time I was doing this video, there's a, hold on, let me move this camera here. Oh, they dropped it. They're still going? Okay. There's a, somebody built a fire over here, there was just smoke flying in my face. So I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm like, man, I'm just breathing smoke the whole time, so. <laughs> Gotta love the fight we're going through for YouTubers, right? The, the struggle being a YouTuber. There's a bunch of ducks flying around back there while I was videoing, so. The struggle's real. I've been up there splitting, up there's my, uh, up there splitting logs. My, my boys and I have a little firewood business when they're staying pretty busy. But guys, I hope this helps you all. Like I said, I've got, if you struggle with strumming, be sure to scoop up the strumming course. It's helped a lot of people. I'm very proud of that. I think it's 32 bucks. And I'm very proud of um, the feedback I've gotten from that. And it's helped a lot of people. So go scoop that up if you would. If you want to support the channel, go to countrysongteacher.com. All one word, countrysongteacher.com. Grab a songbook while you're at it. I've been jamming the karaoke songbook. There's a, there's a book called 25 Karaoke Hits. Go scoop that up. You'll like that one. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Let's go. Hey, smash the like button. I keep forgetting to say smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. What a gorgeous day out here. Goodness. Before y'all even ask in the comments, is there other fish in there? There's a lot of fish. A lot of catfish. A lot of bluegill. A few bass. See so yeah, how my boys do some fishing up here. We got like 45 acres, so God's good. Let's go.